I would start with a photograph that makes me think about the use of architecture, which is the use of architecture, because here we have a, a people that is uh, spending his, their uh, weekend in the nature, and which is the less quantity of architecture they need. Only a chair, a newspaper, and nothing more. So it's the limit of uh, the use or uh, useful space. So um, maybe we have to construct something or to do something more, but this can be a first, a first architecture approach. So if we go to the very well known, I suppose for all of you, Brunland report, uh, here we have the definition of growth and uh, they say, well, the, the, the report says that different limits hold for the use of energy, material, water and land. And it's mm, talking about uh, general growth, uh, earth growth, uh, humanity. And if you think about architecture, really architecture deals with energy, material, water and land. So it's really in, um, in a parallel, in a parallel uh, thinking of this Brunland inform. So if we think about the environmental impact of architecture, let's think about what impact means. Because we have to think, or I would like to think, or I would like to make you think about uh, what is the work of the architect on this impact in the earth, in the growing, in the sustainability, etc. And can we deal with impact? What is impact? Impact is the impact in the environment. Uh, architects, we, we do not decide if the electricity is done by um, wind or by nuclear or something. So it's not our subject, the impact, the final impact on the environment. Maybe the consumption could be our, our subject, but mm, I'm not sure because in the same situation, the consumption depends more on the user than on the architects. So let's go to the first thing, and it's the demand. The demand is uh, really where the architect works. So the design works on the demand. And after, when you have constructed this uh, object, you can use in a way, so the consumption is related to use, or you get, in, in, depending on the use and the quantity of use and the quality of the materials, you have an impact, a more big impact in the earth than in other case. So let's go to this uh, example was on energy demand and energy, the impact, the consumption and the demand, but we can do the same analysis on materials. So, well, the impact, the, on the on the earth is not in our hand. Maybe the consumption is in our hand, but what is really, really in our hand in in the architectural design is the demand. We decide the demand, not the consumption, not the impact. The same in water, and the same in land. So we can have different points, but we decide really the first thing. So when we are mm, discussing about the impact, and you can you have a reference building, and we can we, we want to reduce, or we can we want to um, have a better level, etc., etc., etc. You have to reduce the impact, but. What is sure is that this impact is not in our hand. We don't decide this, but 
we really decide the demand, the first stage, that we can say, we can say the quantity of architecture, like uh, a global idea, the quantity. And taking into this world quantity, different things that we can, we will see. What is quantity of architecture? One, quantity can be seen like this. If you use the use of uh, this car and the other car is the same. It's not di difficult to say that the, this one the, in the right hand uh, needs more energy, more fuel, uh, I, even if the um, engine is very, very efficient. So here we can uh, discuss the, different, the, 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 the difference between efficient, we can have a very efficient engine, but not effective. So really, to go to the beach or to um, go with the children to school, uh, maybe the other thing, it's not so effective, not so efficient, but more effective. So it's a thing, a thought that architects, I think that might reconsider or uh, rethink about it. Uh, this was an example in the quantity of material down in the, in the track, in the hammer, and the energy consumed. But when we construct something, we don't have in mind the quantity of material we uh, use, and finally it's not so evident. So uh, the quantity in terms of kilograms is also really, really important, not only energy, not only uh, um, amount in, in square meters, uh, but also in cubic meters of material. And this is in Spanish, but I ha I, the translation is that uh, the 80% of the impact of a product is decided in the design process. So we are the uh, makers or the designers that decide this part very, very, very important of the building. So I think that we have to think more about the effect of uh, our work more than to be more efficient. Because if not, we, de we design something that is not a good design thing, but is more, more uh, very, very, very efficient. But if it's not effective from the beginning of the design process, so it mm, has no sense. So we'll see some examples of these things that we can, or these um, uh, strategies, three strategies to control this quantity of architecture. One is the amount, the intensity of architecture and sharing of architecture. Considering that these strategies are these strategies must take advantage of the opportunities they gave to us. So when we speak about amount, the first thing is to reduce, reduce, reduce the quantity, the volume, the square meters, the, and we can see some example here. We have a, an hotel room, is a project, and, uh, we can see that we have a lot of square meters for two people, a bathroom, and in the other side of this, we have another example, that's the, how to find the smallest uh, hotel room we can find. And the challenge of the architect is to, is this challenge that some companies I can say the name, but uh, taking a, an, in, a, in, in a certain moment to do things smaller, but best designed. To, in, in, to invest more in design than in the quantity and the quantity of material and the uh, technology and other things. So smallest 
but very, very well designed. And in this way, we can find different examples of how we can use all the square meters or you can use not use these square meters to uh, give more air to this very uh, consolidated area in Barcelona. In a, you can see the street here, and how this uh, approach, this, this building, gives more quality to these spaces. So when you see the street, here is the first part of the street, and when you are uh, um, walking and arriving to this uh, new building, this different approach, the quality of the space, the quantity of air, light, etc., uh, is better. So it's giving more quality even if you leave quantity. We have another examples here. We have, I, we have a, an interesting proposal that is to reduce absolutely the living space and the enclosed space, the conditioned space here and construct more, less than in the other uh, buildings and the other dwelling, dwellings, but having this very beautiful space where we can do other activities. Here we have uh, another view and we can see that the bathroom is mostly open and here we have only one, two, three pieces really closed and the other is a big intermediate space and uh, the quantity of, uh, mm, of walls is less, but you change this uh, small space by uh, this air and cubic meters you have in this project. Or how to, the consumption of land, we can construct a, um, an hotel in, in, uh, in a very beautiful landscape or to um, spread it in the mountains. In this way we have very small, small, very small rooms but that are like <coughs> small caverns in the, in, in, in the forest and the quantity of uh, landscape you can see from this room is better and uh, higher than if you were in a conventional kind of hotel or in a conventional space. Another uh, proposal for this kind of uh, spaces. Here we have another example of uh, minimum space and minimum consumption of uh, soil because here we can see that we, we, need, we don't need to move a lot of land and change a lot of land. If we don't use more of these, we can pick up and put in another way and we can recover this land because we, when we construct something, we, have to, to ha we, we must have in mind that this land is a good. Is a good. And, uh, it's very difficult to recover it when one once has been constructed. So uh, this is important to also consider this point. The second point is intensity, to have the intensity. Why we have to have the same intensity, the, ha the, the same uh, quality of materials or the same quantity of uh, heating or the same uh, lighting system in a corridor, that in a room, that in a uh, kitchen, that so we have to qualify the different spaces of uh, of uh, the building. So we have to uh, decide which is the intensity of uh, every part of the building. Because to make well, let's return to the first uh, to the first picture. Uh, this is a theater theater play uh, and uh, what we need really, a scenario and a protection, Sorry. and here protection, some place to see and 
the other side is is an, an, a, a, a theater, but without the walls. So really, is there necessary to have the walls, depending on the 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 period of the year? Of course, if it's raining, it's important. So uh, we have to think about it. Uh, here we have a beautiful house in Mallorca where the climate is really good and uh, is a very interesting house from Hudson. Here, the first photograph is to see that here you have the sea and the position is really except, exceptional. And here we have a, a interesting house and we uh, when we look at it for the closed, really closed spaces, we discover that only these spaces are really closed, and the other spaces are intermediated spaces, are porches or patios or something that connects one part of this part with the other and with the other, but in a continuous way. So it's not important to have all the building closed because we, every time we are uh, working about very um, uh, complex skins, but does the skin have to be there or is this the, the real uh, situation of the skin? So where we decide to make the line between the interior and the exterior is important. Because here we have one part of this, the, the, in the bottom is the exterior uh, dining and here is the interior. So really from the house you, it's difficult to, to, to see the difference between one part and another. So we can have, we can be the most of the day in an exterior part of this building without problem. Here is another building of Glen Murkut. The same exercise to, we, we, if we consider the closed parts, but after when you see this building, the, the, the visual continuity is, is larger. It's, uh, it's not important to be closed or not, so the climate permits this. Here we have another example of this kind of intermediate spaces in a uh, project of La Catona Basal. They propose this intermediate space, intermediate spaces here is a retrofitting of, an, of another building. And uh, finally, this uh, area is really the conditioned area we can see, we can say. So we have two kinds of skin the interior skin, the, the skin that, separ that separates the, the heated area from the not heated, and another skin that separates it from the really exterior. So we have a lot of uh, intermediate spaces. Another example, but I will go. Fast resist. As you can see, this is uh, an office building with a huge part of intermediate spaces. Another example is in a school. Uh, you see that in the, well, the, in the section is uh, is clear how how does it work. But uh, you see that here they are um, they are playing with uh, the codes and. Uh, the, are not in the exterior conditions, but not in the interior conditions. But it's normal for for children to to be in these conditions. I, is it normal to have always children in a heated area, or maybe some hours of the day they can be in an intermediate area without? Heating. Another example is the School of Architecture of Nantes with a lot of uh, intermediate spaces, so with a low intensity of architecture. And here we have two kinds of low intensity because uh, 
now I had I I talk about uh, conditioning intensity, but here we can we can talk also about the quality of the materials used. So we can use a low intensity of materials. So here we have uh, finishings and uh, uh, an industrial um, um, image, but with uh, very big spaces that uh, would be appreciated in a lot of schools of architecture if we have these big spaces to draw to uh, put the models to work with the models and maybe the the quality of the light the quality of the uh, finishings are not the same that in the in the in the rooms in the uh, in the interior rooms but is uh, enough for this kind of activity another type of intensity may be the, the material itself the quantity of material, the uh, mm, mass of the material. Here we have an example of mm, houses in China from Chipperfield, and uh, the, uh, we'll see that the, well, that the separations are in concrete, so the imagine it's really beautiful. Well, I like it. But uh, you have to consider or wonder if really is the, f the best way to, to solve this problem. And in the other part of the, the, the rule, you have this example of how to solve the same thing, that is the separations in, uh, in, a, in a house. And this is the less quantity of material, less quality of material. Uh, with these um, cubes, so we have a room in these cubes, and it's a very light uh, material. You can put one or another, we can change, and uh, the intensity, if you compare them, real, really the, 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 the final solution is, well, the final, the, the solution itself is very different, but Really, the program is the same. It's a dwelling with a kitchen, a bathroom. If you look at the solution, is it more or less at the same scale? So is, there are examples, they are examples of very different ways of uh, considering the intensity of. Another example would be this, uh, housing of, in Nimes, where Januel presents two things. One is the, no, one is the, to put this corridor and use the corridor as, a, as a, the access of the house and also present it as a balcony. And the other is in this interior, when one arrives to a social housing, uh, it's um, usual that people, when arrives, changes 50% uh, of the finishings. So um, the solution is not, not construct any finishing. Live in this way, and each one finish uh, the building as he can. So in this way, they, can, they could uh, construct these buildings at a low, low, low price with uh, very interesting quality. But really the price was uh, social housing. Here we have different examples. And uh, this is the corridor and this is the, uh, the, val the balcony when you open from the other side, you can open and uh, you have, um, well, an extension of the house. And the third uh, strategy could be sharing. S sharing is not sharing directly or maybe we can define it as uh, if we have something, um, why we don't use uh, what we have, what we already have, 
And another way of sharing things is why each time each one of us wants to have its own chair with its own bed, its own television, its own swimming pool, its own, own thing. So we are mm, constructing like bubbles into, in, in the interior of the houses. So uh, the, the example is when, uh, it, when television started many years ago, in a village was one television, all people went to the uh, bar to see the television. After this, uh, each house had one television and all the family were around to the television with all the discussions. Uh, after this, uh, we, have, we had two or three televisions in the house and each one had one television and after now with a computer, each one has in a family has a computer and uh, each one can uh, look at the program that, he prepare, that they prefer. But I am from Barcelona and well, when there is an important match ball, uh, yeah, match ball, uh, football match, an important football match of Barcelona, all people go to the bar to see the, the, the match together. So um, finally we have to decide which things we, 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 will, we prefer to, go, to um, do together and which things can be done in a uh, community. Here we have an example of uh, the extreme, we have two extremes of uh, the hotel extremes. The, where, this is the room area and this is the bath and equipment area. So the intensity of architecture is very high because you know that one square meter of this is very, very, very expensive in uh, comparison with one square, square meter of this. So uh, here maybe is only one person or two person at maximum with two VCs, one bathroom complete, one kitchen. So it's a lot of equipment for only two, pers two person and maybe one. So when you look at the plan of the building, you count the, the quantity of square meters used by this intensity of architecture with a lot of uh, fixing and equipment and a lot of uh, very uh, expensive and complicated things. Well, it's a really com complicated and very complex building. And here we have uh, an example of a uh, 18th century um, allotment uh, building for with a small room. And it seems incredible. Uh, we have been looking for more, but we cannot find more than this VC area. I can't imagine the situation of this because the, 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 how dirty <laughs> would it be? But maybe this is a extremely low intensity of uh, services. So we have to find a point, but not to go to a headquarter. This is a headquarter or maybe to um, think in common things as a possibility, of a, as a quality, as a space uh, of uh, sharing experiences, sharing time, sharing a lot of things as uh, Arab uh, baths were. Or maybe nowadays, could be a swimming pool. If we design a very pleasant swimming pool, can be a, a version of the of the baths of the Arab bath. In opposition of our particular swimming pool here, 
we have only this part. Each one has a swimming pool. You can see how much land it consumes. No one is in this in, in the swimming in the swimming pool because after a while or three days of using it, uh, the maintenance is very high and no one uses this. So the intensity has to be rethought. And even uh, it consumes a lot of land in the flat land, but maybe in the high land. So here is the next thing to have in uh, Brazil to have each one has a swimming pool in the balcony. So it's the example of each one has the TV, the swimming pool, the personal computer, the personal swimming pool. And we are in, in some situations where we are going towards the sharing spaces or giving quality to these sharing spaces when we have students, a student residents, we give more importance to these sharing spaces than to have um, small rooms, not only a, a row of small rooms, but we put a lot of intention of the design in these spaces and these uh, common spaces. Because we imagine life in these common spaces and we give the, a, a lot of quality of them. Another um, approach to sharing things is not sharing spaces but sharing ideas, sharing uh, necessities here we need we have a, a, a residence and we have here a stair and we need a stair we need uh, uh, an elevator and as we need a stair and elevator we organize all the um, rooms around this in the way that in in a way that we have a, a common space in each plant and this is changing all the rooms have um, ex exterior view, uh, light, and that comes from the design of this object. So, to design with a very, uh, an object of uh, uh, high quality, very well thought, well, and here we can put the stair, the elevator, a uh, place for cook, a common place, etc. And is that I have to, if I, I need a, a, an elevator and I need a stair, so how can I take advantage of this instead of putting in a closed space and forget this and put in, a, in the part of the facade and uh, avoid me the exterior view. And an extreme example of this is, as I had, I need, uh, I need furniture, so why I cannot design the furniture in a way that is enough to support the building, so it's an, the furniture and the structure of the building. So it's, if, you, if I put in the correct way and I, and, and I give the, the section, I can avoid the structure. So as, as I need a lot of furniture, why don't use it for another thing? So it's another uh, approach to sharing things. And this sharing approach is, has been done always. It's now that we are losing this idea because we have a lot, a lot of uh, examples, a lot of examples in Italy, more than <laughs> in another part, maybe, uh, of uh, taking advantage of what we have. Another beautiful example is La Mezquita de Córdoba. It was a mezquita and after they put a cathedral and after uh, and how how take advantage of something I have. Or 
the expression that I don't know if exists in English or in Italian to live under a uh, bridge. So the bridge gives, you, gives us the first protection, the more important, important protection against rain. So after this, to arrange uh, an under bridge to live is well, mm, easier. And here we have an example of a very developed, very designed uh, solution for living under the bridge because we have the bicycle uh, parking and how to put the, the clothes and even a garden. So it's really a designed place, taking advantage of a cover that we have. And with uh, this uh, picture I finish, reconsidering these three approaches to uh, control the quantity of architecture. One is the amount, another is the intensity, another is sharing in order to control the demand from the point of view of the design, from the beginning of the design process to control the demand of energy, of material, of water, and of land. Because I think that architecture acts on demand to reduce the impact, not acts to final impact, acts to demand, and in this way we can reduce the impact on the world and on the environment. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>